Hi guys. Happy New Year. John here from Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. I got a message from my buddy on Facebook, Jack Hallman from Belgium reached out to me a little while ago. He got some of our impeller pitch gauges and was inquiring about using them. And it was his idea. He thought maybe we should do a video on how to measure and, and look at an impeller with our Watcon impeller pitch gauges. I agreed. I thought maybe this would be something kind of fun. Maybe we should do a video. I hope you guys like it. Um, what we have here is a uh, Impros hooker. This is a 915 hooker. Um, I want to say, first of all, not all impellers are the same. Uh, our gauges um, line up very well with the Impros impellers and Scatrack impellers. Solaces are kind of hit and miss. Um, the OEs are way off. I don't know where they get their numbers from. Um, it doesn't really matter. This is just a tool and, and you use this no different than a compression gauge. You may check compression on your engine and your compression gauge on your engine may read for the sake of discussion 150 pounds. You might bring your ski in here and I check it with my snap-on gauge and I get 160 pounds. Doesn't mean anything other than that. One gauge is just different than the other. This is just a gauge. Use it, take notes, uh, to make changes for things that you want to do. Um, don't get, so I, I can't stress enough, don't get hung up on numbers. So today we're going to just quickly look at this uh, impeller. Uh, it's a, a hooker. I have used, um, I've got a machinist rule here and I measure around uh, starting at the, the leading edge and I'll measure around and I make a mark at a one inch increment. Um, Every, again, every prop is a little different. Uh, generally, the, the leading edge, um, we measure the first inch, and the same thing with the trailing edge, I'll measure approximately an inch. You can make adjustments uh, and change it more or less, depending on what you want to do. If you need to gain RPMs or lose RPMs or gain bottom end or, or um, more hookup on the bottom end, whatever. And, and it's going to be just a trial and error thing. There is nothing um, that's 100% the same for every application, every ski, every engine and pump combination. So <clears throat> what we have, um, our Empower pitch gauges come in four sizes currently. We have 142s that work with a Kawasaki 140 millimeter impeller up to 142 millimeter. We got 148s um, that work on anything between a 142 and a 148. We've got 160s and 171s now for the big large, some of the big large four strokes. Um, the 160 is probably one of the most common ones um, for the four stroke guys. We, we sell a lot of those. 148s we use on a super jet. Um, the, today we're looking at an Impros hooker for a super jet. Again, this, this impeller is a 915. Chris, if you want to come in and look at that, or look at this, I'll show you. It even says inside of here, I, I hope you can see that, it says 915. That's what it's marked right from Glenn at Impros. I will come around here with my gauge and our gauges have lines on them with, with degrees of pitch. What you're going to do is you set the gauge over the impeller, this impeller being a nine. So we're going to look and line it up and it should measure a nine. And it does. And as you see, because this is a progressive pitch, as in the pitch changes from nine to 15, it's going to change. But the very leading edge here for, for a small amount is nine degrees. The trailing edge is the same. We've, we, we supply you with two gauges and you put this one on the trailing edge. This is the number, number 15. And I'm going to spin this line around so we can see it. And it will line up on the trailing edge of the 15. So that is how we measure um, an impeller with our impeller pitch gauges. Uh, you make changes as needed. Um, less pitch will give you more RPMs. Uh, more pitch will give you less RPMs. And, and it's different trailing edge and, and leading edge. The, the, this is the beginning of the blade 
This is, this is the leading edge, we call this. You, you make adjustments here for bottom end for acceleration and low end. The trailing edge here, the back side, the back part of the blade, that is for your top end um, for high speed and, and overall pump pressure, I guess I would say. But it all kind of works together as a, as a whole. I hope you find that useful and informative. Um, please be sure to like, tag, share, and follow. We will put a link in the, in the bottom of the, the video here and the information with, uh, to our website um, for information on these if you want to order them. Uh, I guess that's it. Please be nice to each other. And next time, we'll see you out on the water.